In this video, I will explain how to draw an approximate ellipse using the four center method. This method uses four points as the center of the compass to draw four arcs that forms the ellipse. Let's see how this is done. But before that, there is one more thing that I want to explain, which is how to draw a perpendicular bisector to a given line using compass. Open the compass with a radius that is greater than half the length of line AB. Any radius is fine, as long as it is greater than half the length of the given line. Now using point A and B as the centers, and without changing the radius. Draw two arcs like this. Make sure that the two arcs intersect each other. Now do the same in the opposite side of the line. Finally, when connecting those two points, we got a perpendicular bisector to line AB. Now let's draw an ellipse with a major axis AB equal 10 centimeters and a minor axis CD equal five centimeters. So the ratio between those two axes is one over two. The first step is to draw the major axis of length 10 centimeters. Then in the middle of the major axis, draw the minor axis of length five centimeters, perpendicular to the major axis. You can use the T-square and triangle to draw both axes. Now extend line CD on both sides. Now draw a perpendicular bisector to line AE using the method I just explained. Extend this line until it intersects with the extension of line CD. This point is one of the four centers required to draw the ellipse. We want to mirror it to the right side of the ellipse. I will use the compass to do so. And this point is also one of the four centers. We want to mirror it to the top side of the ellipse. Now we have the four centers required to draw the ellipse. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that this ellipse is approximate. That means it is not 100% perfect ellipse. But how accurate is this method? Let's make a comparison. Any ellipse has a major axis and a minor axis. The ratio between those two axes determine the shape of the ellipse. In this ellipse, for example, the ratio between the minor axis to the major axis is one over two. This means that the length of the minor axis is half the length of the major axis. This ellipse is a perfect ellipse, while this one is an approximate ellipse that was drawn using the four center method. When comparing them together, you can see that there is slightly difference in the curves of the approximate ellipse. I will refer to this difference as an error. This error decrease when the minor axis becomes bigger, or to be more accurate, when the ratio between the minor axis to the major axis increases. Here, for example, the ratio is three over four, and you can see that the error is much smaller than before. Now, on the other hand, when this ratio decreases, for example, when the ratio is one over three, the error becomes much bigger and visible when comparing it to a perfect ellipse. So basically, you can use this method if the ratio is bigger than one over three, and you will get acceptable results.